Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. This is a continued video showing um, how to put in the doors and windows in Revit. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, uh, I'll put the link down in the description and uh, you can watch the first video, see how we put these walls together. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're back here. Um, we have this layout. If you haven't seen the first video where we created these walls, and let's turn on the fine so you can see the detailing. So uh, if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put it, I'll put the link in the description. And um, if you're following along or if you want to follow along, um, just watch that first video and then continue on. But once you have your setup, make sure this these arrows are pointed outward because that expresses the exterior of your wall so let's just go around and check everything so everything is pointed out you don't want to have this inside you know and you have your see your thickness is your three-quarter inch thickness um siding it's pointed inside and you got you know that's not what you want you want it outside so make sure those are pointed outside for the exterior okay so let's go ahead and let's uh, create a floor plan out of this. Let's go ahead and make us some two by four walls for the interior and we'll just throw some walls in here. Um, so just like we did before, we'll go to wall and we can actually just pick our two by six, edit type, oh, edit type, uh, duplicate, and we'll change this to two by four. Let's get rid of that number back here. Okay, and all we're gonna do, a two by four is actually three and a half. We're gonna change that to three and a half. Um, okay, that changed. And we're gonna get rid of this finish, siding finish. Um, so we'll just highlight that column and hit delete. So we have our uh, jip. Um, on either side and we have our three or two by four which is one and a half by three and a half so let's go ahead and save that so now we have two by four walls so let's go ahead and create some walls here so going in I just throw this wall in and I don't have anything sketched out or you know any plan so we'll end up probably changing some sizes changing things here and there but say I want this wall to align here Instead of trying to just move it around like so, you know, you see how it gets attached there. What you can do is actually you could just go ahead and take this wall off. AL for a line and you can see it pop up near the cursor and you can just hover over this wall and select tab. So we want that inside of the structure right there and we're going to align the inside of this structure to that and you can hit a line again and boom we want it to, to connect and it lines up pretty well um, so let's go ahead and let's just come up with something so well, let's say if I want to find the center here right um, I can just go up to align dimension we'll select the center here of this wall and we'll center it on this wall and this wall, right? And we just hit equal and it puts it in the center and go ahead and delete this. And it made it a constraint, but we'll just delete that. Just because I wanted to find the center of this because uh, there's going to be just two bedrooms here and maybe a bathroom in the center. So you can click your walls if you want to create an opening, let's say like you just have a walkthrough opening, you can use door, but a lot of times all I do is I just use um, wall opening up here. Um, 
Those are pretty big. Let me go ahead and scale these down. So, under your architecture, you have your doors, and it's going to give you flush doors. Um, you're going to use a lot of these usually, but you're going to need other doors like an entrance door, like your exterior door. Um, you know, you might want French doors somewhere, patio sliding door. So you go into edit and you load in components. And once you get here, you go to doors and residential. And let's go to exterior. So you have a front door here, there. And you have your two side lights you could use. So let's just pick, let's go with that one. Okay. And we can just, and you can hit spacebar and that, and that actually flips it like that. Or you can move up and down for inside or outside. But we're going to have it swinging inside, of course. And once you put your door in, you can toggle around with these arrows. If you want to flip it or have it go this way. But we're going to have it here. So I'm thinking this being a small house, uh, I kind of, when I come in, I kind of want to just have the a back door straight ahead. So we can, we can go ahead and add a door. Um, let's go to edit. Let's go to load. Let's see what else we want. Um, there's a, there's a glass sliding door. Yeah, here. And, um, yeah, let's just go with this glass sliding door. Let me just put that in there. Okay. And the kitchen will be off in here somewhere. We'll have like a little island. And this is just a big, a big open room. I usually always go with 80 inch tall doors. Um. So let's make them 36 inch, 80 inch tall doors. And it looks like we need a little more space here. So let's just boost this up. All right. Get rid of you guys, don't need you anymore. Let's hit space bar. And what I could do is I can find the center which I believe is here. Um, yep, and I can just draw a line and it places it there. Um, so you have that. And man, these are tiny closets. What we could do is we could boost up this space and have some bump out for the tub. Um, that allows enough room for plumbing anyway, at least on one side. But uh, for now, we'll just do tiny, tiny closets. This, this is a tiny house. So, um, so doors, and let's just do really, really small doors for a closet. Um, so yeah, here, here, okay. Got some doors in there. Okay, so we got those doors. I'll need a door here, of course. And put 30 there. So we'll have a tub fit in here. We'll have a small vanity, a small toilet. And usually the spacing for that, so the edge of the toilet to the edge of like the tub allow 18 inches um, or 16 inches. And the same for the vanity and the toilet, you know, minimum. Um, so, okay. So let's go ahead and throw in some windows. So windows, it's under architecture as well. As you see here, click window. And as a default, you get, you know, your double hung, you get casement double, um, you get fixed windows, windows that don't slide open. Um, go to edit, load other windows in and you select windows here and you have a number 
of different windows. Um, you just go through and pick what you want. You, know, you got these nice bump out windows. All types of windows. But let's go ahead and go with what we have for now. Not a fixed window. Want to be able to get out of here. But uh, window casement double, window double hung. I use a lot of double hung windows. Um, casement windows. Actually, I, I like casement windows, but let's do some double hung windows. So, when you're placing your windows, if you do this, all right, just like, just like the walls, uh, the arrows point for the exterior, you're going to want the windows pointing outward. Um, so, yeah, this is the proper way to lay in your window. And we can just go in, copy, hit multiple. You can keep it constrained. And we can just go over, let's say we want to do four feet. And let's give this, actually, let's just copy both of these. And uh, where's the center of this wall? And let's use a detail line. I, like I said, I use detail lines a lot. Just go here and there. Just draw in another detail line. All right, so let's just copy these. And we'll mirror the windows over here. Balance it on that wall there. And and just thinking ahead, okay, we're going to have a living room, kitchen here. We'll probably have cabinets going like an L shape and have a small uh, island in here. And lay out there. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do, we'll do the same thing, kind of like what we did here on this side. Um, also, on your windows, I uh, usually go six, six, eight head height. So I'll just go ahead and select them all and change that to 6, 8. Oops. All right, and let's go ahead and add the windows on this side. And I want to make sure I'm doing the same distance. Let's see. One foot, three and a half. Okay, and the spacing. I have one of these windows. I want to keep it consistent. It's four feet. So we'll go four feet. Or you can just type it in. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just, we'll draw it this time. Just like that. Okay, so I have cabinets here. Probably won't have uppers on this side, but uppers on this wall. Okay, that works. So some windows there, windows here. All right, want to add some windows in the bedrooms. Put them in the corners here. Oops. Move that down an inch. It was off an inch. Not that big of a deal, but why not fix it? Um, okay, we got a center point here. All right. And that's how you get your windows and doors. And so we're going along. We're getting there. We're going to have this all laid out. And we're going to throw a floor in here, a roof, and we're going to cut sections and and add components and actually the components is what I'll add in next along with the floors so uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for this series to continue um, I'll do more on this home uh, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, thanks for watching